All right, this morning, uh, so it's Labor Day weekend, and uh, I'm Roland, and welcome to East Marsh Acres. Um, I've got a couple of small little uh, jobs to do, projects, um, and one of them is to actually get rid of the rest of the uh, compost pile here. We still have topsoil over here, but I'm going to move this to uh, the row that had the uh, garlic in it and uh, uh, clear this space so that we can put the um, the chickens in here and so that'll be the next job uh, clearing uh, the space so that I can put the chickens in so that we get um, grass renewed in the area uh, as there is here last week's uh, renewal area this is two weeks ago and this is three weeks ago, so you see a little bit of the progression in terms of the growing of the grasses, etc. Um, I have left some things, so the uh, the goldenrod that you can see in the present paddock, and uh, this bush, for some reason I missed it, um, so I'll need to uh, take care of those as well as laying down the areas that uh, we're going to use for the fences themselves. Um, hopefully I can use most of this area that you see uh, that is still pretty rough, um, but I'll take you along as I'm uh, working on all of those pieces. So job number one is finished. So basically as much as I can get out, uh, you end up in roots of, of crabgrass and all that kind of stuff in here. Um, so it's been placed on the half row, third row of uh, where the garlic was. Uh, this is where the onions were. We've got some voluntary tomatoes there and I'll pick those before I leave. But I'm on to my next job. So it's laying out the next paddock for the uh, chickens and so I'm going to make a triangle so it's two lengths of the fence wide so we're essentially running parallel to uh, the existing fence right now coming down to a point here on the pathway to uh, water and the rest of the gardens and then so that's uh, three lengths moving in that direction and then two lengths that are moving back so the gate will be exactly where it is right now. Well, we'll move the charger a little bit. Um, so I have to clear all of this material out, anything that's going to actually impede the fence because the second bottom rung of this fence, so not the bottom rung, which is in black, but the second bottom rung is actually uh, electrified and so if it's hitting grass and various other things, it will ground out so that we don't end up with full charge uh, going along the wire itself, protecting the birds. Anyways, so that, that's the plan of action. I will turn on the other camera so that uh, you'll see what I'm doing. And uh, we'll pick up the story again when I've got it cleared. Uh, I've got the brush cutter uh, along with me. So the brush cutter is uh, essentially a gas-powered, one of the only things that's gas-powered on the, the homestead, gas-powered um, rotating blade, and the blade itself is sharp, sharp enough to actually cut through little branches uh, like these um, thorn bushes, etc. And, and in fact, the lamb's quarter that you're seeing that it is uh, blooming here. Anyways, that's uh, an update. Okay, I'm uh, done in by the heat, so I'm going to pack up, uh, take cameras and equipment, 
and uh, bring it to the house where I'm going to have, I think it's time for lunch anyways, and a bit of a rest and take on some water. But, uh, oh yeah, I'll show you what I ended up with. So I did a few other things as well. But essentially the paddock is the triangle that I showed you uh, laid out with the string or the rope and we'll be moving them uh, 6.15 tomorrow morning. Uh, if I can remember, I will bring the camera along and show you the move while the chickens are still in the, the, uh, the hutch and they show real inclination to get out as soon as they possibly can. Uh, it's uh, quite comical to see how quickly they actually get out of the hoop coop once they're released. And then of course we have to fix up the uh, the netting so that it's secure. So nothing is going to get them. I think that'll wrap it up for today. I'm just gonna get all the rest of the equipment onto Henry, our gorilla cart, and uh, bring it away. Talk to you soon.